Welcome, I'm Julia Miller. I'm an instructor at Canby Audi Wellness Programs. Today we are doing some Canby Audi cooking. I'm going to tell you all about paleo greens and how to love them just as much as we do. Now, paleo greens is a vegetable powder, which might sound weird at first, but it is delicious and it might take some time to figure out how you like it, but there are tons of different recipes which I'll walk you through and paleo greens comes in different flavors. My favorite is the lemon lime, but there's also unflavored. If you're more of an earthy person, you don't like anything sweet, or you're used to juicing, that one's great. There's also mint, and all of them can be tweaked in different ways, which I'll tell you about today. My personal favorite, the lemon lime. I like my greens a little bit more watery, so I use less of the powder. Now, paleo greens is just vegetables. It's freeze-dried and in a powder, so if it clumps a little bit, that's fine. You can just shake it around. Now, I use less than some other people might use. I use about a small two teaspoons or one teaspoon. Somebody who likes a stronger flavor might use more. You can use up to two tablespoons of the powder per day. That's a lot of greens. In just half a teaspoon of the powder, you're actually getting one serving of vegetables. So kind of on a daily basis, what we recommend is two teaspoons, which would mean you're covering your basis for four servings of vegetables. Vegetables are great. We all know we're supposed to be eating tons of them every day, but it's hard. You know, you need the time to do it, to shop, to prepare them, to cook them and clean. So drinking your greens during the day is a great way to cover those bases for your nutrients and they give you incredible energy. I like to drink mine between meals. Even my grandmother likes them. She says even though her coffee gives her energy, greens give, you know, gives you a different type of energy. It's not caffeine, but it lifts you in a really nice way. So my other favorite recommendation is ice. I like my greens very cold. And in a bottle like this, it has a blender ball, our Cambiati bottles. And that helps because the greens might settle a little bit in a glass, which is fine. But you're just able to shake it and disrupt it a little bit. So I use about a small, maybe one to two teaspoons in my bottle. Then you just fill it up with water. Cold, right out of the fridge is fine, or from the tap. Then, if you have a bottle like this, you'll just shake it up, or stir a glass, whatever you have is fine. And you're done. Lemon lime, as I said, is my favorite flavor, but you can experiment and see how much powder you like in yours. The unflavored, as I said, is a little earthier. Um, it's still really good. Don't let that scare you. If you don't like the taste of stevia or anything sweet, this is your choice. Some people like to put their greens in a shake. I like to drink mine between meals because it gives me that great energy. And I'll just put solid food vegetables into my shakes. But again, there's your greens powder. So you can see there are a couple lumps, totally fine. It's just all great vegetables with no anti-caking agents, so it's absolutely fine. Then we do the unflavored, also with some water. And anything you have, use a glass, use a pitcher, and shake it up. So there's your unflavored. And the unflavored, you can see, has a darker green label. If you're near our office in Walnut Creek, you can come by and we can make you all of our different concoctions, give you a sample. I think the unflavored goes really well with a little something added to it. So even though I mostly drink the lemon lime every day, I have also been through a phase where I love to mix our vitamin C powder, C plus Biofizz, which is a really tart citrusy flavor that I love to add in. And it's vitamin C. Um, which is wonderful, of course, for your immune system. Anytime you're under a lot of stress, this is the vitamin C powder with added antioxidants like quercetin. And you just use, you know, a teaspoon of that as well. About that much in there. I think that is the best way to have the unflavored greens. It's delicious. It just adds a little bit of citrus flavor and brightens it up a little bit. You can also store these in the fridge if you want. Keep them cold during the day. I think they're best fresh. 
But you know, if you're at work or you make them ahead of time, just store it in the fridge. And now the mint is also delicious. In our office, we definitely have some mint lovers. It tastes all of them a bit like really mild tea, especially the mint. Um, same amount, you know, just the one to two teaspoons, depending on your taste. If you want a stronger flavor, you'll use more. This is the mint. And I don't like to add anything to the mint. I think it tastes great on its own. But again, cold water, I think, makes the biggest difference. And you can definitely add mint to a chocolate shake, which is delicious. Of course, chocolate and mint go very well together. And again, that's it. Very easy. We love the blender bottles because it does your work for you. Then when you're drinking it during the day, just tipping it upside down like that makes it really, makes it easy, makes it taste very good. So the lemon lime, you can squeeze you know, if you don't like the flavor right away, play with it. Add something like fresh lemon to it. You could squeeze some lemon to it, taste that. Or you can add paleo reds, which is like a fruity cousin to paleo greens. You're getting strawberry, acai, cherry, pomegranate. We all know that fruit is incredibly healthy for us. It has so many antioxidants and all those wonderful phytonutrients, but there is some sugar in there as well. So paleo reds is a way to get all those great nutrients without all the sugar. If you're used to drinking juice during the day, this is a wonderful shortcut. And that's really why we love all these products, because they're shortcuts. They really help you get all the nutrients that you need without all the work. If you fight with your family to get them to eat all the veggies they need, this is easy. You know, and it, chances are you can add it to a shake, cover it up a little bit. Some people even add the unflavored greens to pasta sauce. It's amazing, just really versatile. So the Paleo Reds is saying it gets a little bit clumpier, I think, than the greens. Totally fine. Nothing's wrong with it at all. If that bothers you, just shake it. So this is the unflavored that I think tastes great. I'm sorry, this is the lemon lime that tastes really good with reds. But experiment. You might find that you love the unflavored with the Paleo Reds. Just play with it. They're all delicious and you really won't go wrong. So I'll add about two teaspoons of the reds with the lemon lime greens. I think that's really yummy. And then same thing, you're just gonna shake it or mix it up. The reds might take a little bit longer to mix together, but that's just the stickiness of the fruit in there. And so far, that was um, just all the greens that we've done. I hope that you find a wonderful recipe that you and your family like. It's wonderful for energy, I mean there's hydrates you in a much different way than water. So play around with it, have fun, and we know that you'll come to love paleo greens just as much as we do.